And in the wake of last week's shooting in Chattanooga, Tennessee, that claimed the life of five servicemen, Governor Robert Bentley is taking action to protect military personnel in this state. WVUA 23's Jack Royer joins us now with more on the governor's response to the tragedy. Philip, in response to recent national tragedies this week, Alabama leaders are taking a proactive step towards keeping the state's military members safe. In the wake of a shooting that left five service members dead, Governor Robert Bentley announced this week that he's taking steps to arm Alabama's National Guardsmen for the first time in 23 years. It's a 1992 directive from the Department of Defense that only authorizes DOD personnel to carry firearms while engaged in, quote, law enforcement or security duties. It strictly limits their ability to carry a firearm. Bama Carey, a statewide pro-Second Amendment group, supports the governor's attempt to arm servicemen and women. Well, personally, I think it's a shame when we ask them to, to write a check to the government, which includes up to their lives, to protect our way of life here, but yet they can't protect themselves once they come back stateside. Melissa Baisden agrees. She's the owner of Plus One Tactical in Cottondale and has 17 years of law enforcement experience. She stresses that the solution to gun violence is safe gun ownership. If you own a gun, you should train with it. You should know the gun. Um, so I, I completely back the Second Amendment. Purchasing a handgun requires undergoing a background check by an FBI national database. If approved, a gun can be purchased instantly. There are, however, still loopholes that can allow a firearm to end up in the wrong hands. One Second Amendment legal expert says the Constitution is clear about what it means. The Second Amendment is just not an absolute prohibition on gun regulation. If you're going to regulate guns, you better show us a pretty strong rationale. Governor Robert Bentley joins leaders of six other states attempting to arm National Guardsmen. This comes on the heels of news that the Pentagon will take measures to strengthen security at national military installments as a statewide debate on a national issue continues. The governor has only asked to work on a plan that could arm service members. Nothing has been officially implemented yet. Still, shots fired in the Alabama gun control debate. Live in the studio, I'm Jack Royer, WVUA 23 News.